Okay, so let's set up an auto email real quick. So to do so, we would conduct a search. Let's say we were conducting a search for a client. They wanted to purchase a home between 200 and 250,000. They wanted to live in the city of Westlake. Oh, there's not many. Let's say sulfur. Is there any more? Okay, sulfur. They wanted to, um, 200, 250,000. They wanted to live in the city of sulfur. They needed three or more bedrooms and they wanted two or more bathrooms. Okay, so I guess they all meet that criteria. So let's change this to four or more. Okay, so this change four or more and two or more bath. Okay. So now we're going to set this client up on a drip. So, okay, so we're going to search first. Let's look for our results. So now we have results. Um, if you wanted to go through and look at them, you could, because if there was one that you wanted to reject, you could, um, you could delete it at that point if you didn't want um, to send that one. So what you're going to do is you're going to save it. <clears throat> And once you click save, then you're going to go right here to new auto email. I'm going to click on that auto email and then I'm going to add that contact's name. If you've already added that contact into your database, just hit the down arrow and go and choose that contact. But let's say you've never entered them in. You're going to hit right here, create new contact. And then you're going to enter a first name, last name, and an email address. So in order to set it up on a drip, I would need an email address. Okay, I, I'm just making one up. Then I can choose a salutation. I, I wanna say, um, hello, Sarah, or I can choose a customized one where I could say, hey, Sarah, if I wanted to. So that's, I only need these three fields to enter that contact information. So at this point, I would hit save because I'm entering in that contact's name. Her email address has appeared here. Then I'm going to type in uh, listings for you or listings in sulfur, just whatever the subject line is for that email. Then your portal information appears. Oh, that's another thing, y'all. Whenever you enable their search, you're going to have to tell your client that they're going to know to need to go in and accept their portal again. Just let them know that your system was updated so you needed to update their portal and that they will be receiving an email from you that says welcome to your portal and they just need to hit activate the link or view the link, whatever it is in there and that their portal will um, come back to them. So your signatures here, if you need to edit your signature, you can do that here. Do you want to put them on a concierge where you have to approve or reject each property? Or do you want it to just simply go straight to them as soon as, um, as soon as it hits the market, then you would hit ASAP as soon as something in their criteria pops up. Or if they only want to receive them in the morning on Sunday and uh, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then you can choose when they want that email to appear and then everything that has populated or met their criteria during that time frame will be emailed to them. So I usually just say as soon as possible and then you hit save. And so I'm not going to hit save because that might really be somebody's email address. So you hit save and you hit save and that's it they will receive an email from you that says welcome to the portal and they just need to activate the link. So that's how you do it. Thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to seeing you again.